today i am going to show you another version of my clinic management system project made with python and mysql database this version is especially designed for a single doctor clinic with an improved user interface and features so when you will run this application for the first time it will ask you for doctor registration so we have to fill up these details clinic name doctor name specialization email phone username and the password so once you fill these details then you can click on this register doctor so it says doctor registered successfully you can now log in and we are redirected to the login page now you have to use the same username and same password to log in if you don't enter anything it will say please enter both username and password and if you are entering the correct username but the wrong password or wrong username or wrong password it says invalid username or password so make sure you enter correct username and correct password so now it says welcome dr ayazam so this is the dashboard okay here you will be able to see total patients that are registered so far uh, today's appointments you can see here and here you can see today's appointments so some are completed some are cancelled and others are scheduled right then you can see low stock items this refers to the medicine so when the stock is low so you will see the data here then this month's revenue you can see here okay then you have these quick actions after that we can go to this pa patient management here uh, you can see the patient list so these are the patients that are registered so far okay and to create a new patient you have to fill up these details okay so let's quickly add the name the gender then date of birth and as soon as you select the date of birth you see the age is automatically calculated then you mention the phone number and the email address then the address medical history for now it's none allergies none and then we can save patient so patient added successfully and this is the patient id so you can see the patient is added successfully here right and if you want to edit the patient just select the patient and all the details will be filled up here so you can make the changes and click on update patient so now the patient is updated similarly if you have to modify any other patient you can do that okay and if you have to create new patient click on this new patient so this fields will be empty and now you will be able to fill up this form okay and if you wish to delete any patient select the patient and click on this delete so now the patient is deleted okay and from here you can close it then you can go to appointments so here you can see for this date you have uh, these appointments right so if you want to create a new one so just select a patient from here like i'll book for vikram singh okay then from here you need to select the date uh, so it's sunday so i'll just select today's date and if you select today's date whatever uh, time slots are available only that will be shown here okay if you select next day's uh, date then you will see all the time slots from 9 am to 5 30 pm okay so i'll just choose today's slot only so only these three are remaining so i'll just choose this one okay then uh, the status will be scheduled because you are scheduling and then you can just uh, may uh, add some note and then you can book appointment so here you can see the appointment 
and now if you click on it you will be able to mark it as completed or cancelled right then if you go to uh, medicine management so here you can see these are all the medicines that are already added okay so you will be able to see uh, the medicine name okay medicine id category stock and the price okay then if you wish to see uh, the low stock medicines so here you can see uh, these two medicines have low stock okay here the stock is nine here the stock is two then if you wish to see expiry medicines so you can click there and you will be able to see the expiry medicine so this synarest medicines uh, medicine is expired one days ago right paracetamol will expire today and then this cuff syrup it will expire in three days okay so i hope this is clear and then from here you can add a new medicine just fill up these details medicine name choose the category uh, manufacturer batch number expiry date stock and the price and you can simply add it i hope this is clear then we can go to prescriptions and here uh, you can select the patient suppose i select this sana khan i'll mention the diagnosis like gastritis then i'll select the medicine from here so whichever medicine is ap applicable you can just select it and then mention the dosage here like it has to be given three times in a day then select the duration five days and this has to be before meals and simply click on add medicine okay this way you will be able to add medicine then here you can see cross and this pen icon so this cross will help you to remove it and this pen icon will help you to edit it so if you want it two times in a day just replace it like this and update medicine so now this is updated okay if you want to add another one you can just select from here okay select the duration mention the dosage mention the remarks and then add medicine so this way you can add another medicine okay i hope this is clear and if you want to remove anyone just click on it so it will be removed and then you can simply save prescription so click on it so prescription saved successfully and that you will be able to see here right here you can see this one right and uh, if you want to view it just click on it so that will be filled up here so that you can update prescription if you want okay anything if you want to update just you can update medicine and then click on update prescription okay and then uh, if you want to delete any prescription so just click on this delete are you sure you want to delete this prescription this action cannot be undone yes so now that is deleted okay i hope this is clear and then uh, there is also this generate pdf so if i show you this one okay this is the uh, description prescription i mean and then click on this generate pdf so this pdf is downloaded and it will be downloaded in the downloads folder i'll show you so here you have this downloads folder it's inside it so if i open it you can see this is the uh, clinic name right doctor name this is the prescription uh, i mean the patient id name gender date and then the diagnosis is mentioned and then the medicines are mentioned dosage duration and remarks is mentioned right so this is how this pdf will look like i hope uh, you have understood how this prescription management works and then uh, we also have this search by patient name or diagnosis so here you can search by patient name or diagnosis like for example if i have to search for mild fever patient so this is how i can search or i can search based on uh, the name right uh, like for example fazan okay so fazan has these many prescriptions i hope this is clear then uh, we go to billing and here uh, you can generate the bill so you can select a patient from here like Meera patel so consultation fees is there you can add the med medicine charges and you notice as soon as i add the medicine charges total amount will automatically get updated here okay similarly if i add the lab charge 
you can see this is getting updated and then we have other charges option discount uh, tax rate so if discount is applicable just mention the discount okay accordingly the price will change tax rate if you want to set something else you can do and then from here you can choose the payment method whether it's cash or upi if you select upi you will get a qr code and the patient can scan this qr code to make the payment okay if they, it's a cash just select cash okay then just click on generate bill so generate bill will generate the bill okay so you can just uh, double click to view this okay or any bill so if i just clear these fields and click on this double click so you can view these details and if you want to update something like if you want to update the lab charges uh, you can update and click on update bill so that will be done okay Similarly, you can view the other bills. And then from here, you can search. So from, you can select the from date and you can select the to date. Okay, like for example, if I have to select uh, 4 to 5. So this is how it will give you the result. Okay, then you can also search by patient or bill ID. So you can just mention the patient name or the bill ID, you will be able to search it. Like for example, if I have to search for Aram, so I'll be able to search it like this. Okay, you can also search based on the bill ID. So if it is 007, you will be able to get that result. I hope this is clear. So here we also have generate PDF. If you'll click on it, it will generate the PDF for this patient Mira Patel. So here you have the bill, double click on it and you will be able to see the patient name, patient ID, phone number, bill ID, date, right and the description and the amount in rupees, okay. And then you have this reports and analytics section, if you go, go here, so here you will be able to see the quick re uh, reports in the form of PDF and the graphs, so just click on today. Uh, so for today no patients registered if you select this week so this week you can see uh, that on 3rd october one patient uh, registered and on 4th october six patient uh, registered okay so this way you will be able to see the graph okay then you can select this month or this year okay so in september you had one patient in october you had one patient then on uh, 4th October you had 6 patients ok so you will get this uh, result then all patients uh, will help you to download a PDF this will contain the details of all the patients so you have this all patients report here you will be able to see all the patient patient ID name age gender phone number and the registration date and when this PDF is generated that day, date is also mentioned Okay, then recent patients, this will give you 30 days patients list. Okay, and then custom date range. So from here, you can select uh, the date for which you want to see the graph or for which you want to download the uh, PDF. Okay, and you can click on load and accordingly, you will see the result. So from this date to this date, uh, total patients registered were 8. Okay, and then you can also download the custom report from this date to this date i hope this is clear this is related to patients reports next we can go to appointments here you can uh, select the dates from date and to date and generate report so you will be able to see how many total appointments and on which date how many appointments were scheduled okay and then you can also download the pdf to view the data related to that then uh, you have medicine reports let me just download the PDF first. Let me show you this. So here you can see the appointment ID, patient names, date on which uh, these were scheduled and the time. Okay. So after this appointments, 
uh, you can go to medicine reports and here you will see total medicines uh, low stock near expiry right and then here you can see the graph so total how many uh, medicines are there then low stock how many and then near expiry how many and from here you will be able to download the pdf so if you we'll click on a stock report this will give you the report of all the medicines available so here you can see okay i'll just fix it because you see the name is uh, overlapping with the category so i just need to provide some spacing there and everything else you can see here right so it has medicine id name category manufacturer batch number expiry date stock quantity and the price right and similarly this will give you low stock uh, medicines that are uh, that have low stock and this will give you expiry report so the medicines uh, which are about to expire or or already expired okay then you can go to revenue reports and here you will be able to see how many uh, uh, bills are generated today so today three bills total revenue is there consultation revenue is there medicine revenue is there right and you can see the date and the revenue on the graph as well then this week so this week accordingly the graph and the uh, revenue summary is available then this month and this year okay and then you can also check for the customized dates okay the total bills 11 and accordingly the uh, report is generated here then for the customized date you can download the pdf if you want to uh, download for this week select this week and download pdf okay for today select today and download pdf okay let me show you this week so the pdf is downloaded for this week so here you can see from 29 september to 5th october uh, on 3rd October, this was the revenue. On 4th October, this was the revenue. On 5th October, this was the revenue. Okay, I hope uh, this is clear. And at last, we have this logout button. Okay, and from this quick actions, you will be able to add new patient quickly, then book appointments. Okay, so this way, create prescription, generate bill, and view reports. Okay, so this will also take you to those pages only and then we have this logout if you'll click on it it will ask you are you sure you want to log out yes so it will redirect you back to the login page okay next time whenever you will run this application since doctor is already registered so you will always see this login page so that's it for this video if you want a customized app or website for your own project or business you can contact me all the details are in the description below don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing pattern projects. See you in the next video. And one more thing, the source code is in the description. Uh, if you face any issues in understanding the code or in running the code, uh, you can contact me anytime.